The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. The Rhodes name means he was born with this business in his blood. He's finally been able to tap into that, and we are now witnessing his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American Nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American Nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, We are looking at the man who etched his name in the history books, becoming the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. Once that bell rings, it really doesn't get more dominant than Gunther. No mercy is the name of the game. And Gunther began his career in WWE proclaiming that the ring is sacred, and his accolades have proven just that. Everything Gunther does, how he competes, it's all about picking up a victory. Winning is the only outcome for the ring general. Failure is not an option. He despises mediocrity. Cody Rhodes calls himself the American Nightmare, a name that's a nod to his legendary father, but one that also acknowledges that Cody has become his own man. He's more than just a legacy talent. Yeah, Cody took hold of his own career and does things on his terms now. He takes a stand for what he believes in, for what he wants to accomplish, and will take on anyone who stands in his way. I think Cody actually lives for those challenges. The bigger the fight, the better, as far as Rhodes is concerned. He'll be squaring off against Gunther, one of the most domineering superstars in the ring today. It's that crushing strength of his, Corey. There's no way makes the cover. Fending off a two count there. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Strong right forearm. Great. He can do it here. his shoulder up before the two count. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. An impressive sequence from Cody. Gunther is being subjugated to a beatdown. A lot of old school toughness in the way Cody Rhodes competes. That can be very difficult to counter. No doubt about his toughness, but Cody's style can sometimes be predictable. If you throw a lot of curveballs his way, I feel like it's definitely possible to catch him on the back foot. Talk about dismantling your opponent. To a monkey flip. And by the looks of that maneuver, the so-called size advantage might have just disappeared. It rode just counter. Crucial turner on there because Gunther was falling behind. Gunther isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to him. Yeah. Oops. Careful. 
carefully measured knee strikes. Still at again. Yikes. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Bullseye! Yeah. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind, inverted DDT. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Piercing the throat. Cover. Shoulders are down. Stop the ref count before two. I didn't think this match was close to over. Grabbing a hold of the arm. All the weight down. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Delivering nasty stops. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Rip it at the eyes. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I said. Cody is losing command in this one. Cody having a little trouble with the curveball here. Getting caught on his back foot. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. Jar. What's Gunther setting up here? Double underhook suplex. Knee drop. And the ring general, Gunther, with a salute of sorts to the WWE Universe. Cody nails the crossroads. It's over. Gunther is done. run out of ringside and back to the mat. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Big form. Oh, God. A oh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Hoping to end it here. Kick out just before two. Giving a massive effort to overcome the pin attempt. Rhodes about to head to the pay window. Crossroads. Cody Rhodes nailed it. That's gotta be it. Two. No, he beats the count. Gunther is down, but not out. Such a competitive drive, refusing to let this be over. Rhodes hopes for victory dash for the time being, but you know he won't settle for long. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Rhodes has become relentless. There's incredible impact with every maneuver Cody delivers. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. From the top rope, missile drop kick on point. He has just completely lost his wind. This is a very dangerous situation now. Just hot shot him to the outside. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Yeah. Power slam. Good night. Gunther seems unable to turn the momentum here. Gunther needs to cause some separation. Implanted by the DDT. Cody Rhodes has him set up. Crossroads. Cody Rhodes just might have finished things. Makes a cover. That will end it. Here is your winner. The This is a war Gunther just could not win. Cody knew what he needed to do and leaves the battlefield in triumph. All the heart.